What's up, guys? It's Quadramonster. This is the third motherfucking time I've had to do this fucking video because my webcam is a piece of fucking shit and mutes my mic even though it clearly says that it's not muted. And then I go on doing a 25 minute fucking video, and of course, there's no indicator that says if sound is being input or not. And then next thing you know, 25 fucking minutes later, when you check the fucking video, there's no goddamn sound on it! That's what fucking happens every goddamn time I make these stupid fucking videos! For the 110 views that I get, and the always the one thumbs down I get. Fucking bullshit. This is wasted a fucking hour and a half doing this stupid shit. Pisses me off. I don't remember what the fuck I said in my last one. Gotta go through these damn questions here. If you ask more than one question, I'm not answering all of them. Because you don't know how to count. And that makes you sound stupid. Uh, Sean. Hey, Quaja, asking just for fun. Okay, so suppose you are single. Would you ever date a fan you met online if you got to know them well enough and got along well? Um, no. No, I wouldn't. Uh, Peter. Hey, so I actually found you on 9gag, haha, and now I'm following you on Instagram. I was just wondering where you were located at and if you would be interested in ever being part of a music video. Mine specifically, haha, ha, cheers. Uh, that's two questions. So I will answer one. Uh, would you ever be interested in being part of a music video? Yes, I would. Sounds like it would be a fun time. As long as I'm not dressed up like a ho. This question is from Manny. Hi, fellow Twitch streamer. Been watching you when you get the chance. Do you feel Modern Gaming has decided to take the role of releasing half-finished games to rush deadlines purely for the purpose of people exploiting glitches and making montages on YouTube? That's a very good point you bring up because that makes for free marketing. Uh, YouTube is a place where people go to uh, watch videos on video games, um, to watch funny glitches, funny hacks, shit like that. So I can see that actually working to their advantage, where number one, they don't have to put out a fully polished game um, if they're not reaching their deadline, and uh, two, you know, they do get that free uh, free marketing from those people uh, uploading those videos. So that is a very good point and very good question, Manny. I do agree a little bit. I don't think that that's their sole purpose, but it uh, definitely works to their advantage either way. Uh, Angel. Hello, hope you have as good Christmas. First question, how's life after the tester? How was your experience and are you planning on going to Comic-Con next year? LOL, sorry more than one had to. Also, will you ever visit the Bay Area? Last but not least, do you have a boyfriend and what is your favorite Resident Evil game? I don't know why you said LOL, sorry more than one had to because I'm not answering all of them. That's more than one. Sorry, babe. Uh... The one I will answer is, do you have a boyfriend? And the question, and the answer to that question is, yes, I do. Good question, Angel. Kevin, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Please don't fucking say flying. Everyone says flying. Mad lame. I wouldn't pick flying because I'm afraid of heights. All I would do is, if I was flying, I would shit and piss on everybody because I would be so fucking scared, I would be defecating. All the time. Um, I would probably want to be able to fuck with people in their minds. Um, I would like to creepily whisper to them in their own brains. I'd like to be able to read their minds. Or maybe move shit with my mind. Just any way I could psychologically fuck with people would be the best superpower. Good question, Kevin. Uh, this is from Darren. If there was one moment that you wanted to change in your life, what would that be? Also, thanks for the Christmas card. Darren, you're welcome for your Christmas card. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, if there was one moment that I could change, it would probably be when I moved away from home and my stepdad, I didn't see him for a very long time because he was going back and forth between here and Japan, and then he stayed in Japan because he had to take over his business, yada, yada, yada. So I didn't see him for, like, several, several, several years. I'd say, like, six or seven years or something like that. Actually, probably even longer than that. 
much longer than that. And he actually came to visit one time, and my mom asked if I wanted to come down and see him, and I only lived an hour and 30 minutes away, and I said no, I was busy. And then my mom told me that he told her when he visited that he had brain cancer. So I don't even know if he's dead or alive yet. We have no idea how to contact him. So if I could go back to that day, I would definitely have gone to see him. I should have went to see him. That is probably the only thing I regret in my life. Is that. Love your loved ones while you can, guys. That was a good question, Darren. It's very deep. Some deep ass shit you're getting into. It's my last question from Maku. For starters, I got the Christmas card you sent and wanted to say thank you and wish you a early Merry Christmas. My question is what console do you prefer the Sega what console do you prefer the Sega Genesis or the SNES? And what is your favorite game for said console? I have been wondering that, so I thought it would be a good question. Anyway, happy holidays and thanks again for the card. Uh, Maku, you're very welcome for the card. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Secondly, you asked two fucking questions. However, I will answer both of your questions because I think it's a good question. I think overall I preferred the SNES because it had a better, uh, a better, you know, variety of games. I guess you would say like more mainstream games that people would like. Um, there was only one game on the Sega Genesis I really, 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 really liked, and that was Gunstar Heroes. Um, I don't know why, because you would get these little bubbles and that's how you'd get your weapons and you had two weapon slots and you could do uh green blue i don't even remember what the other ones were because you would always just try to get double greens which were the little triangles you want to get two green triangles because what it would do it was basically make a little dotted line and that's what your weapon would be it would make a little dotted line to wherever that enemy was make a little box around it connect it to the dotted line connect it to your gun and then it would just like kill it so you wouldn't even have to aim, it would just find the things on the map and just kill it. I don't know why it was like such a fun game, but it was, and I played it all the freaking time. I would have sleepovers at my friend's house every weekend in elementary school, and we would always make ice cream, watch Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and beat Gunstar Heroes. Every weekend we did that. I don't know why I love the game so much, but I did. And I think that's that kind of has to do with my love for side-scrollers, too, because I love side-scrollers. Um, my favorite game on the SNES was Yoshi's Island. I don't know why I thought Baby Mario was the most annoying piece of shit in the world, and sometimes I would honestly just let him fall off of Yoshi's back and kind of just float away sometimes, just because he was really pissing me off. But I beat that game several times. I don't know why I loved it so much. I think it's because I really, really love Yoshi, but um, I know that's a really weird game of all the games on the SNES to love, Yoshi's Island, but it was like a really cute fucking game, and they actually have Yoshi's Island for, um, the fuck, what was that? It was like the, um, the DS, but like the really fat, weird looking one, the one I don't like. It's like screen, screen, but it like doesn't Old. It's fucking weird looking. I don't know. I played it at the at the um, Nintendo Mall tour thing when I when I met Pikachu, and I was like, this thing is fucking weird. Um, but they had Yoshi's Island on there, and I was like, oh cute. So you know, I played it or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's my answer. Thank you for your inquiry, Mark. Maku. Okay, so. I wanted to thank Davin for getting me these super cute ass little, um, these little chalkboard thingy with barbers. So, like, little sign things. So, I'm going to be using these in my videos later on. Um, they don't erase very well. So, kind of like whatever I write on there is going to be on there forever. So, like, this one, for instance, that will never fucking come off of there. So, I'll always have one that says, Thank you, Davin. With grammatically correct comma there. I would also like to thank my friend Mike, Mike from the UK as he called himself, for getting me this awesome Sony mic. Uh, once I figure out actually how to use this with my webcam, without my webcam being a huge cunt, then um, this will prevent your speakers from blowing out whenever I raise my voice. So you can thank Mike for that, for saving your eardrums um, in videos to come. And I would also like to thank the random person who sent me this. 
it wasn't on my Amazon wish list, but it was sent to my address. So, um, I really do like this game because little, the makers of Little Big Planet made this game, and it's a fun little racing game. Um, I can make my own ride, which is pretty fucking sweet. I played the demo of it. I was pretty good at it. So, um, thanks to whoever sent this to me. It'll be a nice, fun little game to play. And, uh, I want to thank my boyfriend for buying me this awesome shit. Holla holla! Um, so I'll be spending a lot of time when I get back from my vacation setting this stuff up. I'm not setting it up now because I'm really good at fucking shit up. Like, for instance, my webcam, every goddamn time I want to uh, record a YouTube video, I have to record it five fucking times for it to fucking work properly. So I don't feel like dealing with that shit right now. As excited as I am to use it, I just don't want to deal with that shit right now. So, uh, I hope everyone has done their Christmas shopping, because if you didn't, uh, it's kind of getting late for that shit, so you should definitely get your Christmas shopping done. Um, I am super excited also, because when I get back from my vacation, I will be doing my orientation at the Humane Society. Um, they make you go through, like, fucking rigorous ass trainings and shit like that, which is totally fine by me, um, because I do want to donate my time. Um, I am also going to donate to a pet food pantry, which is pretty sweet. Uh, basically it's like people who can't pay for pet food because they like lost their job or whatever, they can come to this place and get pet food. That way they don't have to, um, you know, give up their pet to a place like the Humane Society. So basically I'm doing like a little bit of preventative measure and a little bit of like, you know, afterwards. So, um, I'm really excited about it actually because, um, at least at the, the pet food pantry, I won't have to like see people abandoning their animals. That's my only concern when I work at the Humane Society is when I see people abandoning their pets, I'm going to be filled with so much Super Saiyan rage and I will want to kill them. But that is actually specifically put on there that you have to stay calm in those situations. So I'm going to have to see how that goes because you guys know my temper. Um, I really don't know what else there is to share right now. Um, I, um got into a fight with somebody who commented on my page and called me a scrub for like no fucking reason. That was pretty fun. Um, you're an ignorant piece of shit to call me a fucking casual gamer. It doesn't matter if you're good at a game or not. Okay, gamers should all stand together. Fucking watch Video Game High School. If you haven't watched Video Game High School, you should watch Video Game High School because it's a really good show. Okay, gamers should all stick together against a society who thinks that Gamers are just a whole bunch of fat fucking losers who live in their parents' basement until they're 40 years old or end up becoming violent psychopaths. We should all be banded together. We should be hating on one another, okay? Um, I don't know what else to say, so I'm going to end this video. Everyone have a good Christmas. Everyone have a good Christmas. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. I'll be out of town next week, but I'm going to upload a short video, mayhaps, from my phone. Mayhaps. Also, with streaming, I might stream without, like, my face video, because it seems that, uh... I'm sorry. I haven't had a good night's sleep in, like, a month, and I'm, like, dying. Um... It makes my FPS drop like fucking crazy, and it makes the game really unenjoyable. Un, un, un yep, unenjoyable because it makes me really shitty at the game. And it's like I'm not great at the game. Like I'm, I'm decent, but it makes me look like total shit at the game because I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. And, and then it makes me sad because then you guys are watching, like, the shittiest stream ever. And it's like, why would you even watch that, you know? So, I'm, 
I don't know. I'm just gonna have to figure something out. If you guys have any, um, you know, recommendations or something on how to fix it, you know, please let me know. Please let me know because I want to stream. I just can't because it's so bad. It's so bad. Um, I think I have allergies or something. Maybe I'm getting sick. Anyway, this sucks. Okay, guys, I'm going to play some games now. So I'll talk to you later, and I hope you have a happy holiday. And happy new year. I wish every single one of you a year of love, success, and happiness. Okay, later, nerds.